we are a group of women. Searching for the unseen. These are our investigations. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's this up? Is, uh, what's up? What's up? This is Unseen. We're at the uh, Gabriel Davis Tavern and uh, Jersey Paranormal Investigations held a fundraiser to raise some money to restore the building. So uh, we're going to check it out and see if we can find any spirits. Let's go. <laughs> hey, this is Nikki from Jersey Paranormal Investigations and we're here at the Gabriel Davis Tavern doing what we do best, go sunning. Like you didn't meet Maureen. She's our co-director. Hi, Maureen Carroll. And Autumn, she's our uh, events manager. And Hi. We are one of New Jersey's newest paranormal investigation teams. Sorry. We are so <laughs> thrilled to have had everybody here this evening, especially the ladies from Unseen and gentlemen. So thanks and hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, my name's Nikki. I'm director of uh, JPI. On behalf of Jersey Paranormal, I'd like to thank everybody for being here. Um, for helping raise money for Gabriel Davies Tavern. Many of us have been here over the past 10 plus years, so it's kind of a place that's near and dear to our hearts, not only because of the lovely paranormal history, but just such a long, interesting history compared to a lot of places that you've probably been to. You're here at the Gabriel Davies Tavern in Glendora, New Jersey. It was built in 1756 and it was lived in continuously. So we've had many different famous people living here, including a privateer, Revolutionary War um, majors. We've had Civil War captains and um, the last owner, Mr. Shuck, who donated the house for a dollar. So come on inside and you can see, welcome to our house. All right, this was originally a tavern. It was built to be a tavern because people uh, traveled by the creek. Um, this building was built in two sections, and as you go through the house, you can kind of see it. But I thought it was very smart of them is that they built this side first, and as soon as it was done, the family moved in, who was going to run the tavern, and they continuously built the other side, and when the other side was done, they broke through, and they moved things all around in this house. Right. This front door used to be there, and now it's moved over. And on that side of the house, the stairwell used to go up to the upstairs, and you'll see the uneven floor upstairs. The basement door was right where you see the seam in the floor there, right. underneath that little table. Um, so a lot of things were different. Um, but yeah, it was a tavern, but it only operated as a tavern for about uh, seven years and then the tavern owner passed away. Joanne started us off in the basement where it's said to be haunted by a few spirits. So the question we were asking is, um, uh, means of passing in the house. So uh, if there is anybody here, um, can you say how you passed in the house? It's quiet. Wow. <laughs> Usually the quietest I know. this has ever been. Usually this thing is like rabbit, rabbit, <laughs> rabbit, like all the time. <laughs> Veronica. Yeah, Veronica. I get Veronica a lot. Should. So supper should. You can ask a question. Can you tell us your name? Tree. Tree. Didn't you say there were trees? The, the stairs were originally... Or There's the, um, a, a beam that still has a bark on it. Okay. Yeah. So, but there is someone who would be kind of associated to a tree. Okay. A mishap by a tree on the grounds. Anything with supper? Is that relevant at all? I'm sure everyone yeah, yeah. thought of where the <laughs> supper was going to be. <laughs> okay, so anything. And it was a tavern. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> First word was supper. Okay. Did you pass? Uh, did your passing have anything to do with a tree? No. It's so quiet. Usually this thing yeah. is like. But I think it's saying more relevant words than it yeah. has. Did you find what you're looking for?
<laughs> just like me standing here. Do you okay. want me to continue looking? Metal. Tree and metal. Okay. So, oh, light. Light. Metal was a little strong, but light was not. Maybe it doesn't like the light. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Are you the person who turned the light off on me? A ward? Do you know what you've lost? That's because of the... Hold on to it. What was metal? Is this... Okay. Records? You want it off, or you want to just don't hear the one with the other? Yeah. Uh, so I said, um, it said records. Is that relative well, to anything? Okay. It could be. Okay. Yeah. I can tell okay. you a story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it one spirit, or are we getting multiple? Well, I can't tell exactly, but I know that there has been one spirit um, down here. And, um... I asked why he was here, and, and another medium told me that he's here because he lost something that okay. was given to him to hand down, pass down to future generations. So there could be your record if we read into it. Okay. All right. It's believed to be a piece of jewelry, and there could okay. be your metal. Okay. All right. So. Um, how does that relate to the tree? Like, um, is that like, Paul? Is his name Paul? No. No. It's, oh. it's somebody who's come for me a couple of times. So oh, I okay. have these bumps. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's awesome. <laughs> I know. Oh, I could cry. Oh. <laughs> um, In this defense, though, it says Peter and Paul okay. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's okay. All right. Well, I wasn't thinking of Paul at all. Um, but and I'm, I'm not going to tell you his name because maybe you'll pick it up. Okay. Um, this has said Veronica, Nick, Peter, Paul, what other Murphy. name? Murphy. And Squeeze. Now it just said Squeeze. So. I hate that. But it has a. Pluto. Now it's. Uh, and Pluto. We're back to Pluto. Well, upstairs in the little showcase is a wooden leg. Mm. The wooden leg like? belongs to the person looking for something. Okay. He had his mishap leaning up against a tree. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. He was hunting and he got hot and tired. Human. I don't think, has it said that before? No. If it says league, that would be funny. Stop it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> anyway, he put his shotgun up against a tree and a bee bothered him and he flailed his arms. His yeah. shotgun, shot gun, it blew off most of his leg below the knee, except for a chunk. So wow. he had to, he took his belt, made his own tourniquet, and took his knife and finished the leg so that he could crawl back to this house. That's crazy. That's wow. yeah. And we have found like some um, Jefferson Hospital, you know, bills. Uh, oh, from that incident? Yeah, from that incident. incident. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So he's here in okay. spirit. Um, and he's here because he wants to try to find what is lost. Okay. So the, he's the one looking for what you think is the yeah. ring? Okay. Well, no, not a ring. Oh, okay. Piece Just of jewelry. Piece of jewelry, sorry. But I have a ring. But you have a ring. found on the property, but it doesn't belong to him. Okay. <laughs> this, because it has initials on it. Oh, okay. And so that's going this back belongs to, to someone, someone else who also comes here. Okay. All right. As a spirit. So... <laughs> If your jewelry is here, um, can you give a direction as to where it can be located? It takes a while. You want to get a corner? Paul? Turn on. Switch 
or no, on the right side. What would you like me to do with the ring? different spirits that like different places in the cavern. Okay. Do you happen to know the name of the person who is looking for the, the jewelry? Could you say, could you tell us that one? Joseph. Joseph, okay. Um, Joseph, if you're here, we would really love to find the jewelry for you if you can let us know uh, the location where you think it might be. There's a lot of people down here too, so that's probably why it's had enough. Muse? It says Muse before. Yeah. Muse? Yeah. What the hell is that? Oh, I got the goodie DVD. It was awesome. I'm recording too. That'd be cool if we got the same thing. You want to try a spirit box or something? No, we have the digital Alright, let's do it. I'd like to try and talk to jo Joseph. Um, Joseph isn't down here, though. I thought he was. Yeah, she said that. He oh, was he was down here. Okay. All right. Telling her to find. About the jewelry. The jewelry. Yeah. So. Try not to sneeze. Uh, Joseph, you're here. We'd like to try to help you find your jewelry. Can you tell us? That's Paul scratching. No, it's, it's dusty down here. <laughs> uh, dusty. Joseph, when we're up in your room, you got a little, I guess, not upset, not a good word for it, but you, you felt uncomfortable with us being up there because you thought it was improper. Now we're down here. Um, we're still trying to help you out with this piece of jewelry that you want. What's her name? Sharon? The woman upstairs to find for you. If you can give us an idea where in the basement it is that you dropped it, we can help her find it. But without that information, it's really hard to find it with all this sand. Can you tell us about where it is? What kind of jewelry was it? Was it a necklace? Was it a ring? Was it a watch? Oh, there's so much talking. I know. And they're loud. Why are you so uncomfortable with us upstairs? Just know that there's some background voices. Um, people talking upstairs. If you're gonna talk into the devices, to let us know something, make sure you get close enough to those orange lights so we can hear and we know that it's your voice and not somebody upstairs talking. Where do you think you left the jewelry? I know when I lose something, I try to retrace my steps. Do you remember the last room in the house where you had the piece of jewelry? It was down here somewhere. Thanks for answering. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. That was pretty good, Joseph. <laughs> sorry. Shut up. I'm oh, sorry. <coughs> God. Is he talking through you? Oh my God. How did the lady know what's to look down here? It told, she told, it told, he told her. He told her how. how. We then made our way to the top floor where something freaky happened. No way! That's right there. Wow. See, this is kind of relevant right now. Before you said Bible. Can you take a picture of Yeah. We investigated the kids' room. And although there was a strange feeling, we did not pick up on any activity. We're going to place this on the bed right here. If you'd like to communicate, you can go ahead and speak to him. The box can go ahead and translate words for you, which make it understandable for us to hear. Do you not like people in your room? 
Are we invading your privacy in some way, maybe? I want to see it go off. You guys, you want to play? You want to play a game with me? <laughs> Next, we checked out a room that was using a Kinect to map unseen figures. Although it was not caught on film, witnesses at their tavern that night, including Cindy, saw her chair move as a figure mapped in. Try to entice the spirits to come forward, Joanne read authentic letters from the people who previously lived there. Let me just say, there's no punctuation. There's no capital letters. Right. There's all kinds of misspelling in here. So if I stumble, that's what's going on. Um, hope you are the same. I have been very busy last summer and this winter also. I am foreman of a large ranch for the sheriff, S-H-A-R-E-I-F-F, -E of this county. Joseph's room, the last stop of the night, came through with a very spooky experience. As Joanne had mentioned, Joseph shot his leg off by a tree and fell back for help. Thank you. 
felt there was static over the conversation. Right? You can hear it too though, right? You want me to try to reverse it?
Is this Joseph? That was a different, that was like a woman's voice. Yeah, that yeah, was a higher voice. Papa? Papa? It has never said Papa before, ever. Is this someone's Papa? Are you looking for your Papa? Did it drain the batter to do that? I don't know. Because well, this it definitely will. I have batteries on well, it. Let's shut it off. Okay. Turn it on. Yep. Wow, that was like amazing. It has never said anything ever. Like these two have witnessed it never said anything. What was it saying? Initial. Initial. Yeah. Oh, it was answering us. Yes. Yeah. It like ser like little like guy's voice, deep guy's voice. Uh, like little girl, a woman's voice, like so weird. What? Denise, Denise called the cat. That's called. You heard that too, right? Yep. Did it say like wait? Wait. It said wait. It sounded like it. From a man or a woman? In here. A god. Okay, you don't have to wait anymore. Okay. That was two different beats. Yeah. The same voice. Okay, we're listening. Yeah, we're t we don't have to wait. Uh, do you want to tell us? You have all of our attention. Right. 
like it's gone. Yeah. Would you like to say goodbye to us? We're going to be going home soon. It was great staying with you and chatting. Yeah. Can you tell us goodbye? Because we wish you a goodbye. Goodbye, like goodbye. You'd have to replay the recorder on that. Yeah. And you can clean it up right now. Goodbye, Josie. I, I can take out Thank the you for having us. Um, I really feel like there might have been a little girl in here. Can you just say hi real fast and then we'll say bye? It's okay, you don't have to be shy. Say hi. Do you need more toys to play with? Oh, I'm sad I don't get to say goodbye to you. Go? I'm hearing little bits. Yeah. I think he's done. He said, he said go, right? It sounds like, I don't know. I'm just, it's not facing my hair. Yeah. Say goodbye. Alright, dude. Say goodbye. <laughs>